Hi, I'm Ken Green, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the rotation of the hips and being able to make a full backswing. One of the common misconceptions people have, or what they try to do on the backswing, is they try to stabilize or keep their lower body still and try to make a turn with the upper body. That's great if you're very flexible, like somebody like Fred Couples, but as we get older and we lose flexibility, we have to incorporate the rotation of our core or our thighs, knees, and hips to enable us to get all the way back and make a full turn behind the ball. So one of the drills I like to do is to get set up and feel like I'd let my hips rotate, putting the club across my hips and just turning back. And the more I can allow this to turn, the easier it is for my upper body to turn back and the more I'm able to get back behind the golf ball. Again, what we typically see is people trying to stay too still. So as they go back, there's no turn in their core, or their middle part of their body. So now they're not flexible enough to let their upper body rotate behind the ball. This leads to a quick move down, which typically causes us to slice or fade the ball. So if you feel like you're losing flexibility or you're having trouble making a full backswing, incorporate some rotation in your knees, thighs, and hips. Rotating back will help you make a full turn, and you can get all the way through the ball. And if you do this, you'll start to see yourself making better contact and hitting the ball a little longer and straighter.